first order of the day was a cup of tea. Got our fire going, we're going to get that established and we're going to be doing a braised lamb shank today. So thanks for joining me. We have here marinating in red wine, the lamb shank with a sprig of rosemary as well. It's been in there a few hours and I'll get to cooking in a while. It's going to take a few hours to cook as well. So we've got our Dutch oven here from Firebox Stove again, which I really love. And in here, we've got our carrot, we've got an onion, we've got some garlic, and I've got a little bit of beef stock, and also some mash, which I'm really looking forward to. I've got some lentils somewhere as well. I'm just gonna put a little sprinkle in to the mixture because that'll just dissolve into the sauce and it'll be nice lamb shank on the mash. Gorgeous, it will be really, really nice. We're just gonna slowly cook this one. I've been really looking forward to it. Oh, I should mention as well, actually, I forget the technical term, but see how that lid's not falling off there? There's these little protrusions <laughs> and holes as well, and they all lock into place just like that. Yeah, so no danger of the lid falling off. Cutting with a bushcraft knife can be a bit tricky, but we'll just dice these up. Really you can just have the lamb shank with the sauce and the mash, but I, I just want a little bit of texture in there as well. And carrots impart a nice flavour. Now for the super exciting part, we're going to fry off the onion and garlic. I mean, can you imagine the smell? Now notice how I've got the bowl closer to the fire now. That liquid we are using in that Dutch oven, and I want that liquid to be tepid, warm, not cold. This is about to go, the kettle. I'm just gonna pour a little bit in there. I just want it so that it's not cold and then cracks the cast iron when the cast iron is actually hot. What we are also going to do now is take this lamb shank out. That's had a good marinade and we're going to just let it dry off a little bit and I'll show you why that's all I'm talking about a little bit of oil in there and of course cast iron doesn't take a moe to warm through smell of that was almost instant. Look at that. So what we want to do here is just browns this off and not burn it. I do have a little bit of an intense fire going on so I can just simply lift it away if I want, take it off or shift it about. It's not so intense down that end. I could if I wanted to put the lid down and this on top and that would take away that uh, it would put a barrier in between the flame and the, the actual oven here. But at the moment, that's looking pretty good and smelling very nice. 
So what I'm going to do now is just get my lamb shank, put it in this flour here, and we'll fry this off with the garlic and onion soon. Although I'm going to put the carrot in first. This will just add to the flavour and thickness of the sauce that we'll get as we braise it down. Let's get the carrots in. Shankin. Well, that looks absolutely gorgeous. I could have got two lamb shanks in there actually. I'll do that next time. Beautiful. Another little sprig of rosemary. A little bit of beef stock as well. We'll just put that in there. Just a few lentils. That will give flavour. But also thicken the sauce ever so slightly. Now it's time for super relaxed fire time. So we're going to have this end sort of burned down a little bit. This is bubbling over nicely, but we'll just move it over here and I'll just sort of keep the fire going on the other side there. I am going to put the lid on and maybe after an hour I'll turn that lamb shank around and we're just going to let this tick over. Okay, that's in. I can hear it bubbling over nicely. I think we'll have a sneaky cup of tea while I clean up the area here. It's crossword time. The lentils will swell up and soak up a bit of the liquid. So I used a bit of the water from the kettle to refill. I didn't film that. I didn't think to. Uh, so that's quite liquidy now. We're just going to let that reduce. Wait for the kettle to boil again so I can have a cup of tea. And it's crossword time. So one across, sign up for a course, five letters, that must be enroll. We know we've got our E, and we can go one down, permanently exclude from school, five starts with E, that must be expel. So I'm just going to relax here, uh, what's 13 across, permitted absence from duty starts with L, Five, that's leave, I guess. Yeah, good. This one's easy. <laughs> Makes me look good. I'll just show you that's just ticking away there. So we'll just turn that over now. Yum. That sauce is starting to thicken up too. I can always add a little bit more liquid if I want, but I'm quite happy with that. I mean, once I put the lid back on, it's going to kind of steam away over that as well. Well, 49 down, world's greatest outdoor cook, it's two words, 
the first one's eight letters and the second one's six. We've got three of the letters from the first one's N-O-R, something, and then the second one's, we've got four letters. It's the last four, it's Burrs. Uh, I think we'll skip that one. For the life of me, I couldn't think who that might be. Time to season this a little bit. Some pepper in there. Some salt as well. Give it a stir. Turn that around. That's just nearly done now. Been a couple of hours. Yeah, nice. I was going to do that instant mash, but I completely forgot. The other night was Burns Night. Burns is a celebrated Scottish poet who passed away a long time ago. And to celebrate Burns, you have haggis, neeps, and tatties. I'm going to do some haggis in another video, and we'll go through that then. Neeps is turnip, tatties is potato. Well, I made some mashed potato, a cheesy one and it was in the fridge, I just went in the fridge to get something, so I thought, well, I may as well just use that. What I want to do, though, is this is actually a good pan, so I'm going to put it on top of the lid here because I don't really want to get a lot of flame on there. I just want to uh, save that for inside the house. I shouldn't really be using it. So what I'm going to do is just reheat this mash up nice and slowly. Let's just try this. Nice. I could have got a, a bigger bowl. <laughs> bit of lamb here. Yeah, it's just coming apart. Let's just try that. Wow. It's delicious. It really is. We've got carrot in there. You know, we've got the nice mash. We've got onion, garlic, rosemary, red wine. You know, uh, nothing. We've got the lentils as well. Nothing's overbearing or overpowering, but it's all come together quite nicely. It's made for a nice hearty dish. Really glad I found that mashed potato. Uh, otherwise I was going to forget about it, so that's made a, a nice sort of homemade meal. Thanks for subscribing to those who've always been subscribed and to the new people as well. Thank you very much, I really appreciate that. Thanks for watching the video. Some of you will know I've had trouble with my camera. It broke basically, but it kind of worked and I could never see what I was doing. And I had to hope for the best and I always lost a lot of footage as well. Anyway, I, I found the same camera second hand, uh, described as being mint condition, so I decided to bite the bullet and go for it and it arrived and it is in mint condition I have to say absolutely delighted to have that back I, I can see what I'm doing now I can play back things as well it's even got this line and it's like orange but when the camera is straight it turns green just little things like that I missed and it really helps so hopefully it will improve the quality of videos so anyway thanks for watching this lovely to have a little uh, sort of open fire use the grill use the firebox Dutch oven I think uh, I'll finish this and I'll hope to see you again. I, I, I'm, I'm hoping to do a camp next time. I, I said that in a couple of videos ago. I want to do more camping this, this year. Uh, I think the camping's good for me as well. as has made me something a little bit different to watch too. So thanks for watching. We'll see you again. Cheers.